Paul Ruddick has prostate cancer, and so as part of a clinical trial, he began taking a daily dose of an experimental new treatment. We booked this to have our 50th wedding anniversary there. In June, I visited Paul and heard how the progress of his disease had slowed. I couldn't believe it, and I thought, well, this is great. Just taking a tablet can I actually rid or keep the cancer at a low level. Five months on, Paul's cancer still hasn't required treatment with hormones, radiation or surgery. With the tablets, there's absolutely no side effects whatsoever. And it's been great, absolutely great. And not to have to have the worry of surgery is even better. So what is keeping his cancer in check? A simple food supplement made from pomegranate, green tea, broccoli and the spiced turmeric. Today, researchers revealed the final results of their trials of these pommy tea pills. 24% of the men on a dummy placebo pill had to move on to more aggressive treatments like surgery. But just 6% of the group taking pommy tea have progressed to needing further treatment. A huge benefit to those men and a large potential saving too, as drug treatments cost £1,000 a year, but the annual cost of the pills is just £170. According to the doctor leading the research, it could save the health service millions. This is a simple, specific pill and it would save an enormous amount of money. But at the moment, the NHS don't recognise these strategies as important. And I feel the next step is actually to try to persuade healthcare providers to put it on the agenda. But that will require larger clinical trials. And here's the problem. Drug firms aren't interested in paying for research into a food supplement which offers so little potential profit. Few people will make any money from it, but patients will still benefit. And if trials cost a lot to fund, we need to find funding to see if these really are genuine advances. Paul now buys his own supplies of the pills. The researchers hope the health service will now be persuaded to push for further research to see if these pills could offer a cost-effective treatment option for prostate cancer. Catherine Jones, 5 News.